Hahaha, <laughs> did you guys really think a handsome skeptic like me was gonna let a- would go around mentioning the Tales doll myth and then not let it get pwned, if you will? Anyway, this is not what I wanted to do, but yeah, I sort of wanted to play this some more, and there were a couple modes which I did not go into entirely. Yeah, there's time attack. Oh, there's reverse. Holy crap, I didn't even know that existed. So normal is what you would expect is just time attack. I'm going to check out reverse because I don't think I ever really played around with that much. There's also balloon mode and tag mode, which is the root of the um, GameCube version of the Tales doll myth, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, this is basically more interesting than mirror mode because completely going through a game, or completely going backwards forwards through a level is more than and completely going forwards through it or something, probably. I guess there are no rings because it would get too confusing if you went through the back of the ring doors and stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I think in most racing games this wouldn't work, but... I, I mean, do you really think while they were making this game, their main concern was, hmm, we should make a game that works? No, I don't. I do not think that for a minute. Anyway, I believe the GameCube edition of the Tales Doll Myth states that Miyamoto put a seal on the game that prevented Tales Doll from eating and raping everyone who plays it on the GameCube version. But if you tag Supersonic on Tales Doll's inexplicable home course of Radical Beach or whatever this is called, Rainbow Resort, I don't know. Um. He will break through the seal and kill everyone, probably, right? I imagine that makes perfect sense, but... How did I get the best time on that last lap when I was, like, running into walls and stuff? But anyway, yeah, that seems sort of weird to me. Mostly because you unlock tails on City Escape, which is weird. And why are all these extra modes inside Time Attack? What does Get Five Balloons have to do with Time Attack? Anyway, I'm gonna go through these levels with Knuckles Doll as... I kind of like Knuckles Doll. I wonder what... I don't really know. I never really figured out where the five balloons were even supposed to be. I'm thinking I might be in the position of the five coins, because that would make a little bit of sense, but then again, no, they aren't, and it doesn't make sense, and this is too confusing. I don't even... This is going to take like ten minutes enough itself trying to find all the freaking balloons, which I don't know where they are. Uh... Balloons. This would be a lot easier in a game where you could go backwards at all. Either accept the racing game standards of B plus backwards lets you walk backwards, or the walking game standards of walking backwards let you walk backwards. And hey, there's a balloon. Oh, Sonic R. I wouldn't love you as much if you weren't so horribly broken, I don't think. Pop. This do go. I've never been. It's time to take me away from this place I wouldn't miss. Or take me back in time through another world. Oh, hey, I did not know this part even existed. Does this have a balloon as a reward for my... Yes, it does. So apparently they're just behind background objects. Which describes everything in this game because of how broken the background objects are and how they disappear quicker and out of existence and what... I didn't even... Oh, I guess this is like where one of the secret areas dump out. That makes sense. Is there one back here? Because I'm going to say that's not a very good hiding job if it is. Couldn't see. It looked like there was something, but I think it was just the sand. Okay. So I really have no idea what's going on here. I do not know where the freaking balloons are. I know of places to bend. There's nowhere near. What the point is this? That's wording, right? We should have. I would say should have gone as Amy or something, but it really, it's really not speed. It's just that absence of being able to go backwards in this freaking game. I really don't know where any of these balloons are. If it is not obvious by the fact I have spent two minutes in the level, which is more than I ever spent in any level in this game because of how fast I am. Uh, 
I don't know, I might actually end up quitting this. I'm gonna, like, go three laps full of looking at everywhere I can think of, and then I'm just giving up because this is a silly concept. I mean, I don't even think the secret areas are allowed, so... Where are they? Why isn't there one, like, back here where it would make the tiniest bit of sense? This is a silly concept for a challenge. Maybe if they were, like, in the exact locations of the coins and they were just like, Oh, this time, coins are called balloons and you have to find them again, even though that wouldn't really be as entertaining. I like the fact this is technically adding more content. Excuse me. But, I don't know, I'm gonna go back up the butt of that secret exit and see if that helps. I don't freaking know. Oh, I don't get it. I mean, it's not explicitly hard. Explicit is pronounced with a hard K sound, right? But... What? What? Oops, I broke it. What? <laughs> I mean, th that's that's a faulty line of reasoning right there, I'm sorry. This game was never not broken in the first place, so I could not have broken it myself. Okay, let's take the other branch, even though this isn't even the right path, because I imagine the right path has, like, a gate leading out of it or something. I mean, it wouldn't be that hard to find them all, I guess, but I don't really care to. They're always just, like, way off the beaten track so hard that, like... Good job making three-dimensional walls ever in the entire game, Sonic R development team. Of course, again, that's why I love it. So yeah, I'm gonna go to five minutes if I don't find at least a third balloon by them. By then. Yeah, well, yeah, you got to hear the full version of the song with my lovely voice accompanying it, so that's... This isn't totally worthless. And does the song just not loop? Really? That's lazy. Come on, make the song loop. Okay, thank you. You have to ask it, evidently. I'm positive I could glitch behind those somehow, but I don't even think that's gonna accomplish much. I really don't know where these balloons are. I mean, I'm sure I could find them after looking for, like, in looking instead of just sort of enjoying the game too much like I tend to do whenever I play it, but... Meh. I don't want to desert the mystery someday when I'm old and dying. I want to have a little bit more of Sonic R to explore that sends me into my death or something. I don't know. Seems like a good life plan. But yeah, it's, I'm like 25 seconds past my assigned limits. And I really don't know what's going on here. Is this the way back? Oh, hey. Well, that's one. How are you were actually supposed to go back that way? I don't care, it's sort of fun. I like, I mean, I was not liking this game for its great design, great ideas and everything. So this just like adds a little bit more to the experience and I love it. I'm sorry. I shouldn't love this kind of thing, but I do anyway. So am I just stuck here or what? I don't know, but I got to spend another. Uh, see, yes, I got to spend another six minutes in the world of Sonic R, and that makes me happy. So that's balloon mode. You've seen reverse mode, and I'm eight minutes in, so I'll probably cut it off right about here. And next time we can see Tag Four characters, the originator of the GameCube Tales doll mythos or something, right? Okay.